In this video, we're gonna be adding Google Analytics to our affiliate website. Google Analytics is a great way to measure how well your website's doing in terms of visits and all sorts of metrics. Uh, you're gonna have reports galore once you install this, so uh, let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So in this video, we're gonna be adding Google Analytics to the affiliate website that I made in a previous video. Google Analytics is a great way to measure the success of your website because it tracks all the visits, uh, the number of pages people view, the time they spend on site. We can even track things like outbound links. So we can really see what's going on and you can uh, work out whether your you know, marketing efforts and all that sort of stuff um, are working well. The great thing about Google Analytics is that we can see exactly where visitors are coming from. So, uh, you know, did that Facebook post generate any traffic, that tweet, uh, whatever, Pinterest, whatever marketing you're doing, it's a really great way of, of seeing what's working and what's not. And then obviously once you know that, you can start to focus your efforts on what's bringing in the traffic. This is a really quick video. We're just gonna be installing a plugin and setting up a Google Analytics account. Uh, if you've already got one, then you're already halfway there. So uh, that's enough chit chat from me. Let's get on the computer and get started. Okay, so I'm over at bestwpthemes.info, which is the site that I made in the uh, original tutorial video on how to make an affiliate marketing website. So I'm already logged in and what we're gonna do is, um, first of all, we're gonna install a plugin. So back into the dashboard and then go to plugins and add new. The plugin we're gonna be using is called Google Analyticator. So just type that into the search box. Here it is. I'm gonna click Install Now. And then click Activate. So that's ready to go. The next thing we need to do is, I'm just gonna open a new tab, is head over to Google Analytics. So I'm just gonna type Google Analytics into my search bar and it's gonna be the first one that comes up. And then you need to sign in with your uh, Google account. Uh, Google Analytics is what we want. None of these other premium things, whatever they are. Okay, now I've got a lot of profiles in, um, <laughs> as you can see, in my um, analytics. You probably won't have so many, but it will, it will look the same. But what I actually need to do is create a new one, obviously, for this website. So to do that, I'm gonna click on Admin. And in here, you've got a few different options. So you need to, um, if you've got a multiple, you can either create a new account um, or you can create a new profile. So just to be clear, so an account can have multiple profiles, if that makes sense. You're probably gonna just, um, when I say profile, actually I mean the word property. Uh, you're probably gonna want uh, a new property, I'd have thought, within your existing account. Um, so I'm gonna do that. So to do that, I'm gonna go into property, click create new property, give it a name, which is best WP themes dot info. I don't know if you're allowed a dot actually. Let's write the word dot. Uh, the URL, I'm lazy, let's copy and paste. Ooh, doesn't want the HTTP, there we go. Industry category, um, internet, let's go for internet. Then you can set your time zone. Uh, and then we're done and you get your tracking code and all that business, which we don't actually need because we've got our plugin. So let's go back to the website. Then if I scroll down, you'll see that there's a Google Analytics option now. If I just click that. Um, and then we need to click here where it says click here. And then you need to allow. And you need to get that bit of code, whatever it is, and copy and paste that in here. Click save and continue. Give it a few seconds just to connect. Okay, we're connected. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enable uh, logging. I'm gonna select the correct site out of all my millions of sites. Um, be under B, I guess. There it is. That's fine, it's the universal code, that's good. You can decide whether you want to track all users. Um, generally, you don't wanna track the admin users, otherwise you've just been tracking yourself and it will skew um, your figures. 
You've got remarketing there if you want to turn that on, which is good if you're running any advert campaigns. This is quite important, the outbound uh, link tracking. So in your report, you'll be able to see if people are clicking your affiliate links, uh, that sort of thing. Everything else you can pretty much uh, just keep as it is. Um, enable the dashboard widget, that's all good. Let's click Save Changes. And we're all done. So now you've got tracking enabled. Um, your website will start to obviously measure how many people come. You get a nice little widget down here on your WordPress dashboard. Obviously it hasn't got anything to show right now. But what you can do if you want to test um, that it's all working, if you go back into Analytics, go to Reporting, and there's this real-time report here. If you go to Overview, the moment it says there's no one on the site, that's because I'm logged in. But if I log out of the site, so it doesn't track me anymore, or it does track me, <laughs> so we set it to not track administrators. So if I log out, I'm gonna have a look at the website. And then if I go to this here, we can see, ideally, hang on, let me just click about. Um, there we go. There's one user right on the site right now, and it's me. I am not in St. Albans though. Near enough, I'm up the road from there. So that's all working, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, obviously it's gonna be essential to keep an eye on your analytics to see how well your website's performing and all that business. If you've got any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. But until next time, it's bye for now.